Hey guys, so I'm sharing this video today because I came across something in cPanel in a normal plugin that I use that vanished. What I'm looking at here is a Let's Encrypt plugin page on the cPanel document website. And I found out when I went into cPanel under a specific domain project that I manage, I noticed that the Let's Encrypt was gone. I had to do some pretty intense digging and research because I wasn't able to find anything specifically on this page. But what I did find was that it was replaced by the SSL TLS status. And this is installed on cPanel and it's supported through Web Host Manager, which is WHM if you're managing web servers using that technology. I did verify it does work. I thought it was important to post this because if you are running into a situation where you, you need to renew a certificate or you're trying to figure out what happened, look for the SSL TLS or again, if you're managing a web server, see if you can install this and configure it. I did verify that I tested it across several websites, domains, everything works as expected. The interface is actually easier to use if you're not a te technical person. It's easier to use than Let's Encrypt, so I think that's a good thing. But I was just a little bit alarmed because I didn't see any data on the Let's Encrypt plugin about deprecation, which means just no longer being supported by the developers. And I can see the last modified date was March 18, 2024, which threw me a little bit. And maybe I'm missing something on the page, or maybe they just haven't updated it yet. But as you can see here, cPanel and WHM's default SSL provider auto SSL provider. So this is what Let's Encrypt has been and was. Why it's not being supported anymore by the developers, I do not know. I just know that if you run into the situation where you need to renew a certificate or do something and you're looking for that, look for this. You should be able to just implement it just as e if not easier than Let's Encrypt to keep that certificate running for those domains you're managing. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. I was in the dark on this. I feel more enlightened. And hopefully this helps you if you're trying to debug or sort out what happened with your Let's Encrypt install.